Hello, welcome to Creepypasta Whenever, formerly known as Creepypasta Weekly, where I take a creepypasta from the cre Creepypasta Wiki, read it out loud, and voice my opinion on it. Today, I'll be reading All Hallows Eve. Enjoy. Have you ever had a really good friend? You know, the type that you have known since kindergarten? Well, my life has always been a <clears throat> well, my life has always been a paranormal hotspot. I remember how I was fascinated by monsters and beings and all that stuff. Anyways, I had this really good friend named Alice. I'm keeping her real name a secret. Alice was a great friend. Alice was a great friend and had always been there for me. Whether in school or on Facebook, she was the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. I remember meeting her in kindergarten through currently going out with her. Trust me, if you were going out with her, you would be the happiest man in the world. But I will never remember that day. At the time, I lived in the craziest fucking neighborhood you could possibly imagine. Gang fights were on a fucking daily basis. Stores were going out of business. Gang fights and killing were what my neighborhood was remembered for. My friends John, Alice, and myself always hung out in the abandoned trailer on the beach, which no one goes to. That one day we were hanging out and John asked me to get a soda and snacks, the usual. It took an hour, but the walk to and from there was always calm and relieving. I saw the trailer bouncing in a weird way. As I opened it, there was Alice getting raped by John. I couldn't believe it. I just stood there watching while she screamed at me. That one word she happened to mutter haunted me for the rest of my life. Help. I made a run for it, never seeing any of them again. It's been three years exactly since the day of her rape. It was also Halloween. I didn't dress up, but I gave out candy to hyperactive kids who seemed too spoiled to get anything. I was ready to get some sleep since there wasn't any trick-or-treaters for the past hour or so. Then I saw a masked man in the dro- Then I saw a masked man in the doorway. Of course he had a knife in his hand. I ran and tackled him, screaming, Motherfucker, get out of my house! We fought for quite some time until I realized who it was. John! Tears rolled down my face, anger into my fists. I had a message to tell him for three years. Die, son of a bitch! I pulled his knife and gave him one stab to the chest. Impaled to the wall, he let out his final breath. See you next Halloween. He fell dead with an evil grin on his face. I stared at his smiling, lifeless body. I fell to my knees and whispered in his ear, I will see you there. So, taking into account the last little bit there, the last two, uh, about five sen sentences, I would assume that this is a recurring thing, as if he was almost being haunted. Overall, this wasn't so much a creepypasta, more, more or less just a, uh, a short story. Just, just a typical short story. However, I have a bone to pick with uh, the main character or the uh, narr narrator there. Your girlfriend was being raped by your best friend and you ran. I, I, can't, I can't really say how I would act to that. However, I sure as hell know I wouldn't just abandon her. 
And then another thing that I kind of don't like is how they just disappear and out of nowhere, here's John. There is no real clarity or a slight misuse of the word, but as, as far as uh, the story goes, there is no real catharsis or uh, closure to the end. Again, I, I told you, it's a bit of a misuse, but eh, whatever. So, like, they just disappear. You don't hear anything of them. How? I don't know. It, that just seems a bit sloppy to me. Overall, I mean, I, I guess it's it, it's short enough. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's it, it's a fair read, and if uh, you're you're ever on a road trip and you want some stuff to read. That's what I usually do is I have a whole bunch of these uh, creepypasta stories on my phone or I bring a laptop with me sometimes and I read them and it sure as hell makes uh, the trip over to say Edmonton a hell of a lot better. So I, I would say put this in into your collection. If not, whatever. <laughs> It's all opinions, and honestly, my opinion is this wasn't too great. But hey, I'm not a great uh, writer myself, so... If only there was a little bit of a closure to it, like what happened to Alice, why... What does I will see you there mean? It's like... I guess it's it's up to your imagination to what happened. John killed Alice, dumped her somewhere, and then and then somewhere down the line he dies and for some some reason he wanted to kill uh well, I don't even know what the main character's name is. It's not not explained. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening, and have a good day.